Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we have a book haul from February of 2024. I have 11 books here. From eBay, I ordered a lot of James H. Smith's books. This one is actually a repeat of one that I already own. Any collector can tell you when buying a lot that most likely you will have some of the books in that lot if it's something that you've been collecting for a while. So now I have two copies of Telsey Amberdin. They're not the same printing though. One's from 2000 and the other one's from 2002. I think I'm just gonna go with whichever one seems to be in the best condition. They're both not too bad, but I did notice that the one that's from 2000, that's the new one that I got, is a little bit browning on the inside. This first printing was from March 2000. The cover art is by Bob Eggleton. So most likely this will go into my trade pile. The other two books in the lot were new to me. They're in the same Bain series that is edited by Eric Flint. Get ready for an explosion. Warning. TNT. Tells the Amberdin and Trigger Argy together. I've never read any of Trigger Argy stories. And then the third one that I received was Trigger and Friends obviously about Trigger Argy. Once again, it's one of the Bain collections of stories from early 2000s. Another book that I ordered online, I think it was from Biblio, was the last book of the best of series that I'm collecting from Ballantine. It's the Ballantine Classic Library of Science Fiction. The one that I was missing of the 21 from the 1970s was The Best of John W. Campbell. And it's got a very nice yellow text block. Copyright for this one was 1976. And of course, you may recognize the story Who Goes There? It's one of his most famous stories. The classic movie, The Thing, is an adaptation of Who Goes There. Next, I picked up a few Alistair Reynolds from some of the local used book dealers. Alistair Reynolds is someone that I want to start exploring this year. I've been told to start with House of Sons and another singleton, Pushing Ice. I also have two copies of Orbit Books. This is his first novel, I believe, Revelation Space. And also, Inhibitor Phase. Inhibitor Phase is from later. It is copyright 2021, so it's very new. And Revelation Space is his first novel. And that was printed copyright 2000. Next, I have three books from one of our used bookstores here in Winnipeg. This author, I really don't know anything about. I haven't really heard anyone reviewing any of her books either. Her name is Zena Henderson. The first book I have of hers is called Pilgrimage, Book of the People. It's a fix-up novel of stories from the 1950s. Alfred Bester says, Who are the people? The people are the descendants of the survivors of a spaceship from another planet which crashed on Earth long, long ago. The people were scattered, and their children have lost the knowledge of their origins. Since they possess special powers of telepathy, telekinesis, etc., which would be regarded with horror and terror by normal Turin natives, theirs is a story of the conflict between their desire to conform to Earth standards and their slow recognition and acceptance of their special identity. So this one was printed, or I should say copyright 1961. This printing is from 1963. 
Then I have a second book of the people, No Different Flesh. This is a collection of the stories from the 1960s. Once again from the inside, the people, scattered at random across the earth when they first arrived, the people yearn always for the home, the planet from which they came, and for each other. This second book of the people centers on an assembly, where members tell their stories of their adventures with the others, those of us born here on earth, who haven't the gifts, and of their perils in getting to the happy assembly itself. This one copyrights 1967, and this printing here from 1968. And the last one is a collection of short stories. It's got a beautiful cover. It's called Holding Wonder. I think that artwork is amazing. Let's see if there's a credit for it. While I'm looking for that, first printing is 1972. I don't see an art credit here. I will take a look in the Internet Science Fiction Database, and in a caption here, I'll let you know who the artist is. So these stories are copyright from 1954 all the way up to 1970. Copyright for the collection is 1971. The Kirkus Reviews says, There are strange children among us with fantastic powers and alien minds. Startles the imagination. The last book I have is a very special book. I haven't really talked about where I find new books. For example, some of those science fiction masterworks behind me. A good deal of them come from Book Outlet. For Canada, it's bookoutlet.ca. I also get a lot of them from Rare Waves. That's a UK online bookseller. The book I'm going to show you now came from Outlet Books. It is an amazing omnibus. An omnibus of Ursula K. Le Guin's Earthsea. Six novels and stories with illustrations by Charles Vess. Ursula K. Le Guin herself introduces each story. The Books of Earthsea, the complete illustrated edition, Ursula K. Le Guin, illustrated by Charles Vess. And here you can see on the end pages some beautiful artwork. This is the main character, Ged. And here you can see all the works by Ursula K. Le Guin. The first Saga Press edition was October of 2018. So he, here we see the table of contents, the introduction, that's by Ursula K. Le Guin herself, the six novels, and a description of Earthsea. As well, the word of unbinding, the rule of names, the daughter of Odren, firelight, and Earthsea revisioned. This is the original map by Ursula K. Le Guin. She had a huge map that she put on her wall, and this is a smaller version she created. And from here, the other artists have drawn maps of Earthsea. Moving through the introduction from February of 2016 by Ursula K. Le Guin to the first novel, A Wizard of Earthsea. They start with a color image inside the first page of each novel. There's the 10 chapters and an afterword again by Ursula K. Le Guin.
And here's an example of some illustrations within the novel. And let's look for the tombs of Atuan. Not sure how to pronounce that word. And that's where I am in reading. Once again, there's an afterword by Le Guin. Let's take a look at some of the artwork within this novel. All right, the third novel, The Farthest Shore. Tahanu Tales from Earthsea. The Other Wind. A description of Earthsea. The Word of Unbinding. These stories were written before A Wizard of Earthsea. And the rule of names.
the daughter of Odrin? Firelight. And Earth Sea Revisioned. This is from August 7th, 1992. Ursula K. Le Guin presented the lecture Children, Women, Men, and Dragons, which was later printed as Earth Sea Revisioned at Worlds Apart, a children's literature institute sponsored by Children's Literature New England and held at Kebble College, Oxford University, Oxford, England. And then a note from the artist in 2018. And then the end pages are the same from the front to the back. Now, this book is priced at Canadian dollars at $80.99. From Book Outlet, I was able to get this book for about $30 Canadian, and then shipping. But when I received it, I noticed that it was torn right here. So I sent them a note about it, asking if it could be replaced. They didn't have a copy to replace it, but they offered to give me a full refund and let me keep the book. And so, this book is a free copy. So there are my books for the month of February. I think I found some very interesting books this month. I'm very curious to know if anyone has read Zena Henderson or has some information about her. You can comment about any of these books. Until next time, keep reading.